Hi, this is Matthew Postens with College Football America and RoadTripSports.com and we are in California for some football games this weekend, but uh, I decided to take a little break and head up to uh, the northern part of California, the Mount Shasta area, and today we're going to drive up to uh, Mount Shasta a little bit and uh, we're going to take in some of the surrounding areas as well. They just got a really good snow up here so we can't get up as high as we were hoping to, but uh, we're still going to go up a few thousand feet and check out some of the things up here on uh, Mount Shasta. Video and driving is obviously not something we recommend, but we're up to about 4,200 feet now on our way up to Mount Shasta. So we're going to make some stops along the way here as we get up to uh, uh, as far up the road as we can get. And uh, not a lot of traffic on the road today. You can see a car coming down the road, but we're up at about 42, 4,300 feet now. Uh, you can see the uh, trees kind of obscuring the peak a little bit. Uh, we're about five miles away from uh, what they uh, say is one of the better outlooks uh, or better lookout points here at uh, Mount Shasta. We've already passed a couple of plantations along the way, so there are actually people who live, you know, pretty uh, pretty far up the uh, road here, uh, close to the mountain. So we're going to check a little bit more about it. Okay, so we're at the Everett Vista Point now, and the views here are not as good as they would like to be down by the actual point, but this is actually the entrance to the Vista Point. You can get a good, real good look at the uh, mountains nearby and the uh, valley below where uh, Mount Shasta is actually located. We're still making our way up the mountain. We're about close to 6,000 feet of elevation. Uh, we're going to have to turn back pretty soon, but uh, uh, lovely view up here from the Everett Vista. Highly recommend viewing it from the road that leads to the Vista. You're going to get much better views out. So here's the best view of Mount Shasta we've had in about uh, two or three miles here. Uh, again, close to 6,000 feet elevation. Uh, you can kind of get an indication of the elevation change as we pan around here to uh, take a look at the other mountains and trees that are surrounding it. Uh, it's an absolutely beautiful still day up here. Very little wind, lots of sun. Feels like, temperature says 50, but it feels like 70. So we're going to keep going up the up the mountain here and see how far we can get. Okay, so it's mid-October. I'm uh, about 6,500 feet up on Mount Shasta, and we've got snow. This is the snow they got uh, earlier this week. Uh, some of it started melting, but uh, you get to about 62, 6,300 uh, feet above sea level, and the snow is still here. Uh, for those of us who live in Texas, this is a bit of an anomaly. We don't normally get snow in October, but uh, really, really cool. So this might be our last video from uh, Mount Shasta. We're about, we're getting close to 7,000 feet up here. Uh, you can see the mountain uh, here, uh, but as we pan over to the right, you can really get a feel for how high up we are and uh, just what is below this 14,000 plus foot mountain here in Northern California. Uh, you can see the snow melting on the ground in the valley down there. Um, trees are, are just sprouting up everywhere. It's absolutely beautiful scenery up here. If you've never had the opportunity, uh, give it a shot. I'm only going to be here a couple of hours checking it out, but uh, it makes you want to spend more time here. Uh, just beautiful, quiet. I mean, you can't hear a thing out here. It's amazing. Uh, but uh, Matthew Postens for College Football America and RoadTripSports.com. Let's get you one last uh, shot of uh, Mount Shasta before we wrap up here. See if I can pan this without uh, shaking it too much. There we go. There it is. 14,000 plus feet of absolute gorgeousness. We'll see you soon on the road, folks.